In this video, I'm going to talk about a project that I'm going to build. It is a habit tracker application. I call it daily quest. So the reason it's called daily quest is just I wanted to make like the habit as like a game and every habit as a quest that we need to uh, complete every day. So the goal of the application is going to help us to improve the mental health, physical health, skill and connection. So this is uh, the goal of the application. So let's see all the features and all the, how it works as well. So there's four features in the application. So the first one is the quest checklist. So the quest checklist, you can think of as like a to-do to -do application, right? You know, you have like a list of the quests that you need to complete every day. And we have the multiplayer verification. So this is going not only the habit is going to be like, you know, you play with the other people. There's a track level, just like a game. And also there's a punishment as well. So let's see each of the features. So the first one is the daily life quest. So the, uh, the quest checklist right here. So the quest right here is going to be six quests that we need to complete every day. So this six quest is going to be predefined for you on the onboarding. And if you don't like any quest, you can, probably, you can change this one to your uh, need. But the six things right here, this is what that I wanted to improve. So the first one is going to be like, you know, wake up before 8 a.m., read 10 pages every day, exercise every day, eat uh, healthy food, you know, learn new skills and connect with family. So these are the six things that I need to complete every day. So this is like a quest checklist. But each of these quests right here, I myself uh, cannot mark this one as complete. So for example, if I want, like, if I finish this one, I cannot mark this one as complete. The reason that I make this feature is because I don't want the user to like, you know, abuse this thing. So some, someday they are not doing it. So how, uh, why they can just go to application and mark this one as complete. So this is not really good. So I want this one to be like, you know, hot uh, in order to complete. So we need other people to verify that this, uh, I am actually doing the, the quest. So in order to do that, that's why we introduced like multiplayer verification. So multi verification is that, so you need other people to verify your uh, quest. So for example, we have user one and user two, and let's say user one finished the reading quest. So they, they just need to send a picture of them, like, you know, reading. So for example, just, you know, holding a book, reading like that, you know, um, take a picture and send uh, and mark it into the review and the other people can review it. So, and then mark, and then they can mark that, okay, this quest is complete. So that's how you complete your quest. You need to do the actions. You take a picture so other people can verify that. So that's why this game probably I'm um, designed this one for people who, you know, going to challenge. You can play this one with your girlfriend, with your family, with your friends. So this is going to be fun because, you know, as a game, we don't want to play this one alone, right? With more people, it uh, makes things a lot uh, interesting and fun. And that's why I do, uh, create this uh, feature right here. And yeah, so, and also inside the feature, you need to track the level. So for example, if you complete one day, you increase like uh, this level for the level system. I have nothing uh, much detail just yet for if you're watching this one, if you wanted to build, you can think of on your own. You probably like one day you increase one level and things like that. So that's probably what I'm going to implement. And we have the punishments right here. So the punishment right here, this is really important. Let's say, for example, if I miss even one day of the quest. So let's say if I miss one day of the quest, every level that I have is going to go to zero. So let's say every day I need to complete this six quests, right? Even if I miss one of the quests uh, of this one day, if I fail one day, my level is going to zero. And that is the punishment. And also you can make this a little bit interesting. So for example, since this is a multiplayer, uh, this is going to be two player, right? So for example, if the user two is not complete his quest, so you can set up your punishment on your own. For example, user two have to pay you like a dollar or so $2 for each quest that you do not complete and things like that. So this is, you can pay in, in real life. This is not a pay in application, but uh, this is like the punishment that we wanted to introduce uh, you know sets the example that you can choose like if someone missed the quest they going to be punished by that and 
yeah so this one is make people like you know f try to complete the quest and get the reward and you know or if they don't do not it's get punishment so maybe we need to introduce like the reward so for the reward system right here i do not think about it just yet i do not know what kind of reward are we going to give um but yeah i need to think more about this one if you have like any ideas on how well, what rewards gonna look like just drop a comment below and but yes yeah, that's the whole idea of this uh, feature right here okay all right so i think that's all of the feature of this application let's take a look at the technology that to, uh, to use in order to build this application so this is going to be like a mo it can be a mobile application or a pwa application so for my case since i do not know how to build a mobile application so i'm going to build this one as a pwa and i'm going to use nextjs and superbase so you can use any technology that you want and so it just have to be the pwa because you know we want people to use this application every every day right so a pwa is going to be like uh, like an icon on your screen so people can use it like a real application and yeah if you know react native like you know or, or any other like mo native uh, mobile application you can just build that as well so maybe i'm planning to build with react native as well so i but i need to learn it first but in my first step just pwa with the nextjs and superbase that's the technology that i'm going to build i uh, use to to build this app all right great um so that's pretty much it so right now let's take a look at the ui that i found online so that can help you and help myself to build this application as well so there's three that i found and i really like this one right here this is very clean and minimal so as you can see we have like this one you can think of this one as like each quest this block block right here and this is track your progress and you can sing you have stats and new and things like that as well so this is really a uh, good ui maybe i'm going to clone or you know inspire chain a little bit uh, similar to this one and also this ui is also look great as well and this ui right here is also look great as well so yeah you can search more on the ui on the you know triple or any other platform but yeah I, for me i'm going to build best on this ui i put the link in the description it's built by uh, roma roma it's really nice and yeah so i guess that pretty much it so this is uh this is what i'm going to build i'm not sure how long it's going to take so actually like this project seems a little bit easy in the beginning so the feature is like you know the quest checklist right here this is feel like just like a to-do application it's not really complicated but when in, you introduce like a multiplayer you need to think about like the policy and you need to like you know set up like the challenge find the other player and things like that so there's a lot of things that we can learn by building this application so yeah i'm going to start this one maybe by to start tomorrow uh, and if there are any interesting things like going on or something that i learned i'm probably going to you know make videos about it and i'm maybe i'm planning to do a live stream building this one as well um, so who knows let me know in the comments what do you think and yeah also overall what do you think about this project so are you going to build it as well so uh, welcome on board and all right let's share the progress in the comments below and i'll keep you guys updated and see you in the next video